Today, we are going to review the procedure to calibrate an ADB-LC constant current regulator, also commonly called an SCR regulator, using control board 44A6546. Equipment required includes a true RMS meter with current clamp, a short length of 8 gauge cable to short the regulator output. Alternately, the CCR can be shorted using the series cutout. Refer to manual 96A01044 for four, seven and a half, and 10 kW regulators, 96A0148 for 15 kW, 96A0158 for 20 kW, and 96A0165 for 30 kW. There are two different controller boards in use. The older, larger board, 44D1475, looks like this, but is no longer available. Calibration of this board is described in another video. The new controller board, 44A6546, looks like this, and calibration procedures are described in this video. Before we begin the calibration, first a safety warning. Read the instructions in the manual in their entirety before starting calibration. Only personnel qualified to work on high voltage systems should attempt to make any adjustments on the constant current regulator. To shut down the CCR, set the rotary switch to the off position. Also, turn the circuit breaker off. Note that power to the output terminals is now off and the regulator cannot be energized by remote control signals. Power is still present on the input power terminals and on the internal control circuitry. To remove input power, disengage the disconnect switch or external circuit breaker. Calibrate the CCR with no load present by shorting the regulator's output. This can be done using an SCO or S1 cutout to short the output, or by placing a short length of series circuit cable across the output. This will avoid the possibility of outputting a higher than normal current into the airfield lighting circuit. Next, attach a true RMS meter with current clamp around the series circuit wire. Since the output current of the CCR will not be a true sine wave, a true RMS meter must be used. Refer to the tables on screen for the nominal RMS output current levels for a three-step 6.6 amp regulator and a five-step 6.6 amp regulator. This screen shows the nominal RMS output current levels for a five-step 20 amp regulator. 20 amp regulators are manufactured only as five step. Controller board 44A6546 has three buttons for calibration. They are marked increase, decrease, and save. Also note that there's a jumper on the board, J9, which sets the regulator as either a three step or a five step. Next, we're going to calibrate the high step setting. Turn the CCR on using the local control switch and set it to the highest step setting. This will be B5 for a five step CCR or B100 for a three step. The true RMS ammeter should now read 6.6 .6 plus or minus 0.1 amps. As we can see, the setting is low, so I'm going to use the increase button to increase it to 6.6 .6 amps. Once I'm done with that, I press and hold the save button and you'll see an LED, which means the setting is now memorized. Note, it is important to save the calibration setting even if you did not change the calibration. So now we want to adjust the remaining steps for a three-step 6.6 .6 amp CCR. So using the local control switch, we will set it to the B30 setting, and we want the output current to be 5.5 amps. As we can see here, the current setting is a little bit high, 
So what we want to do now is hit the decrease button and get it to 5.5 amps and press and hold save for two seconds and ensure the LED is on. Next, set the rotary switch on the front of the regulator to the B10 position. In B10, the output current should be 4.8 amps. And as we can see here, the output current is a bit high, so we hit the decrease button until we get 4.8 amps, then press and hold the save button. When the output current adjustment has been completed, turn off the CCR. Set the series cutout to the normal operating position or remove the shorting cable on the CCR output if used. Reconnect the air filled circuit and verify that the calibration is correct at all steps. Note that for a 20 amp regulator, the procedure is the same. Overcurrent calibration. The overcurrent setting is preset and normally does not need to be adjusted. If you wish to change the overcurrent setting, perform the following procedure. Turn the regulator off and short the output so that the field load cannot be damaged by an actual overcurrent that occurs during the adjustment. Next, turn the local switch to the highest brightness step, which is B5 for a five-step CCR and B100 for a three-step CCR. The true RMS ammeter should now read 6.6 .6 amps. Next, press and hold the increase and decrease buttons at the same time for about three seconds. Then the LED next to the save button will illuminate, indicating that you are in the overcurrent adjustment mode. Note that the CCR output current will increase to the level previously set as the overcurrent level. Next, you want to use the increase or decrease buttons to set the new overcurrent setting. In this case, we want to set the overcurrent to 6.93 amps, which is about 5% of the 6.6 .6 amp setting. Then press and hold the save button. The LED will extinguish and the CCR will revert to the normal operating mode. Finally, you want to remove the short from the output of the CCR and reconnect the field lighting load. For additional information, please refer to the manual for your CCR which is available on the ADB website at www.adb-air.com. You may also contact ADB customer service directly using the information shown on the screen. Thank you for your attention.